Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to create custom sounds for your entity, as well as your blocks and other things in your game that can have sounds. Firstly, we are going to go and create a sounds handler. So go over into your util handlers and create a new class called sounds handler. Call it sounds handler instead of sound handler to avoid confusion with the original Minecraft class. The first thing you want to do is create some sound events. So public static sound event. Then the name of your sound event. I'm going to be in my centaur once today. So entity as it's an entity sound. The name of this entity centaur. And the sound for that entity is going to be ambient. Put a semicolon on the end, control shift over to import sound event. You want the net.minecraft.util one. I'm going to make two more copies of this. One of them is going to be entity centaur hurt, and the other is going to be entity centaur death. We are then going to want the function public static void register sounds. And our private function, private static sound event register sound with string name in between parentheses. This wants to return a sound event. So firstly, we need to create a resource location. Resource location called location. So where the sound is located in your assets folder equals new resource location. You want reference.modid followed by name. So whatever wherever the sound is located. This will always first look for your mod ID. It will then look for the sounds package and then it will look for the name inside of the sounds package. Next, sound event. The actual sound event event is equal to a new sound event in the location then we have to set the registry name event dot set registry name to the name then register it with forge registries forge registries sound events register event and then return the event then in here you put entity centaur ambient is equal to register sound entity in quotation marks entity dot centaur dot ambient so what this is saying is in the sounds package, it'll be in the entity package, which will contain the centaur package, which will then contain the ambient sound. So give this a save. We are then going to want to go into our registry handler and then register it in in init registries, which we don't have yet. So public static void init registries. So this is going to be um, sound handler Sorry, sounds handler dot register sounds. Then back in your main class, you put it inside of init registry handler dot init registries. That's everything for um, the actual code. Now in the resources, inside of assets.tm, you're going to want to create a new package. Assets.tm dot sounds and then also dot entity dot centaur obviously you can put sounds dot and then the other things but you'll need to put that where you register the sound as a different name such as block dot copper or dot break such something like that and then you'll put this in sounds 
dot blocks dot copper. But for now, it sounds enter center, and I'm going to drag in my own sounds that I've created using something like Audacity. These specifically need to be og files dot og. So when you're saving the file, do file save as and save it as an og. We need to create an untitled text file, which is going to firstly save it. I'll write something random in it first. Save it as sounds.json and just put it in your assets.tm package on its own. Sounds.json. You want to close it and reopen it so you get the formatting from our JSON editor. You're going to firstly want to put the name of the sound so in quotes entity dot centaur dot ambient which as you remember is what we registered it as colon after that then two more curly braces the category is entity the subtitle is entity dot centaur dot ambient come after that and then sounds colon then you want to put right angle brackets, curly brackets, quotation marks with the word name, colon, then in quotation marks again, hm colon entity centaur ambient, comma, stream colon true close curly bracket and close right angle bracket and that is a sound so we have the name of our sound we have the category it's in it's subtitle is just its name that you refer to in minecraft if you ever want to play the sound and then the actual location of the sound file which is hm it automatically looks for the sounds folder then entity centaur ambient you don't need to put dog here this is this Minecraft knows ambient dog and stream basically means that it will load quicker into the game. It's quite technical if you want to research it, just have a look up, look it up. It doesn't really matter. It'll just make your game run a bit better. Now if you want to add another sound, put a comma and copy everything here. So entity.centaur.hurt will be entity.centaur.hurt in the subtitle and entity centaur hurt is its location. One more paste in. Remove the comma from the last curly brace here. Change it to entity centaur death. Entity dot centaur dot death. And entity centaur death. And that's all your sounds done. So once you've created all your sounds, put them in there and refer to them in the sounds.json. You can now go into your entity center. You find this sound event to get ambient sound. And you actually just return sounds handler dot entity center ambient. Sounds handler dot entity center hurt. And sounds handler dot entity center death. Make sure you have a semicolon on each of them. And now your centaur should make these sounds. So if you guys have made a mistake, you probably shouldn't have made this mistake. But if you have, go into your sounds.json. This needs to be um, your correct mod ID. It's a simple error that I make quite often since I have two different mods with two different mod IDs. Probably wasn't the best idea to be honest. So make sure you have the correct mod ID referring to your sound. I won't be able to find it. In the next episode, I'm going to be showing you how to create loop tables so your entity and other things, such as blocks, can drop ran different um, items randomly at different times. So that would be really cool. If you're excited for that, leave a like down below. I will be uploading the videos three days early on my Patreon, so if you're interested in seeing them a few days early, or some other exclusive content, you can check it out on the link down below. If you want to see any of the code, once again, you can check out my GitHub, which is also linked down below. And also, thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed, leave a like down below. 
and subscribe for more content. I have been Harry, thanks for watching, and goodbye.